What's going on everybody? Math with Chris. Here we're going to find the factors of the number 54. Uh, as we all know, first thing we always do is bank the two easiest factors. That's 1 and the number itself, in this case 54. Now we're going to look to find two numbers that multiply together to give us 54. I actually got quite a few options here. You can go with any combination you like. Uh, I'm going to pick 6 times 9. 6 times 9 gives us 54. Uh, first, let's take a look at the 6. Can you break down 6 any further? You can indeed. 6 is, of course, 2 times 3. Uh, is 2 a prime number? Yes, it is. Circle it. Is 3 a prime number? Yes, it is. Circle it. Uh, so we're done with the left side of the tree. That's nice and easy. Uh, now let's take a look at the 9. Can 9 be broken down any further? Uh, indeed it can. 9 is, of course, 3 times 3. Uh, is 3 a prime number? Indeed it is. Circle it. Is 3 a prime number? Indeed it is. Circle it. And now, if you look, we are done with our factor tree, because no matter what path you take, you end up at a circled prime number, meaning we're done. And that means the prime factors of 54 are 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Let's uh, write that out down here. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that does indeed equal 54 uh, as it should. So we're uh, done with this part of it. Now we need to bank the uh, prime numbers we found. Well, we found the 2, bank that, and we found the 3, bank that. And any numbers we hit along the way in the factor tree get banked as well. Now we, we, we hit a 6 at one point, and of course we hit a 9 at one point. So let's go ahead and bank, oops, excuse me, let's go ahead and bank the 6 and bank the 9. Uh, and now the last thing we need to do is come down here, take a look at our prime factors and is there any other combination we can multiply here to get a new number that's that's not in the factor bank yet well let's check it out two times three that gives us six we already got that uh, two times three six two times three six what about three times three three times three is nine we already got that uh, what about two times three times three well two times three times three is eighteen uh, we don't have that yet so let's bank in eighteen uh, and what about 3 times 3 times 3? 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Uh, we do not have 27 yet, so put that in the factor bank. And that is every combination. There's nothing else to try. So we're done. We got our 8 factors of 54 here. They are in order 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and of course 54. We're done. Uh, so that's how you find the factors of 54 using a factor tree. Hope you guys found this helpful. We have a bunch more of these videos if you need more practice um, at all levels. Uh, have a great day, everybody.